Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me on this video where today we're in part two of calculating slope and rate of change. We're gonna find a missing value of an X or Y coordinate and we're also gonna do a couple really brief word problems. It says find the value of R so that the line that passes through each point has the given slope. So here if I gave you these two ordered pairs, three one and negative two R, or we don't know that Y value, so we're gonna just call it R, but it has a slope of four fifths, okay? Usually in the other problems where I would give you two ordered pairs and ask you to find the slope. In this one, I'm actually giving you the slope, but asking you to figure out what would R have to be so that if I did the slope formula between these two points, I get four fifths as an answer. So basically, we know the slope formula. It's Y sub 2 minus Y sub 1. Let's plug those values in. So R minus 1 over and then X sub 2 minus X sub 1 negative two minus three. And I know when I plug these two ordered pairs into my slope formula, it needs to equal four fifths. Now think about what we really have here. We have a ratio equal to a ratio. Better name for that is a proportion. And we know how to solve proportions. One of the methods of solving a proportion is to do cross products. And I would just simply need to cross multiply these values here, solving a proportion to get values. So I'm doing five times R minus one, and it should be set equal to four times this negative two minus three. Now, over here, five times R minus one becomes five R minus five. And then here I can clean this up. Negative two minus three is negative five. So here is what I've got. Five R minus five equals four times negative five. Now guys, this is just a regular equation to solve. This becomes five R minus five equals negative 20. Add five on both sides. Divide both sides by 5, and we end up getting r equals negative 3. So if I was to plug in a negative 3 here, I'm going to end up getting this result of 4 fifths. Now think about it. If I plug in a negative 3, negative 3 minus 1 is negative 4. Negative 2 minus 3 is negative 5. Negative 4 over negative 5, positive 4 fifths. It works. Let's try the same thing here. y sub 2 minus y sub 1, so negative 4 minus r and y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1, 5 minus 6. And I want that to be equal to a negative 2. But I want it to be like a proportion, so it's a fraction equaling a fraction, so I'm going to just put that negative 2 over 1. We're now going to use our cross product, so we're going to do 1 times negative 4 minus r, and then negative 2 times 5 minus 6. 1 times anything is itself. 5 minus 6 is negative 1, so this really becomes negative 4 minus r equals negative 2 times negative 1, which becomes negative 4 minus r equals 2. Add 4 on both sides, divide both sides by negative 1, and we should be getting r equals negative 6. That's all you have to be able to do to find the missing coordinate. In 2002, calculators cost $11.50. In 2018, they cost $14.75. Find the rate of change. When you see rate of change, it really means find the slope. Now, it doesn't look like we have ordered pairs here, but we really do. What we have are the ordered pairs of 2002, 1150. 2018, 1450. Time is always your independent. So the, the years, the time, those are always going to be your X values. The cost, that's your dependent. That's the value that can always fluctuate. That's always going to be your Y value. And they naturally just make these ordered pairs. So now if I label them X sub 1, Y sub 1, X sub 2, Y sub 2, and I substitute them into my slope formula, Y sub 2 minus Y sub 1, so 1475 minus 1150, over 2018 minus 2002, becomes 325 over 16. And if I divide that out, I end up getting about this amount, I did cut it off, leave to round to about 20 cents each year. So the price increased because it's a positive number, you know, it's a positive slope, so the price increased about 20 cents each year. That's what that is. that basically is. Same thing here, if I say in 2009 you have $840 in your bank, and then in 2018 you now have $295 in your bank, those become your ordered pairs, so 2009, 840, 2018, 295, y sub 2 minus y sub 1, so 295 minus 840, over x sub 2 minus x sub 1, 295 minus 840 is negative five, uh, 45, divided by 9, I get negative 60.5 repeating, which means you're losing about $60.56 each year. 
I hope this video was easy enough for you to follow along. Thank you so much for watching.